Hello, welcome back to Band Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna try to do another improvisation using the meta balls. So the meta balls note in spare chalk is still kind of hot, and this thing actually is still better. I don't know if you can get this note. Uh, I think you can grab it from spare chalk GitHub, but it's not official yet. They are still improving the notes, but we're gonna uh, do this one anyway. I'm gonna show you how you can create uh, this kind of abstract looking kind of uh, liquidy objects. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the idea is pretty simple. Basically, uh, we're gonna have some kind of points that's kind of randomly scattered um, around the surface of object. And we're gonna use um, Icosphere to do that. So I'm gonna have Icosphere already in the 3D scene. And what I'm gonna do is kind of like scattering points all over and then just kind of projecting it into the surface of this object. So let's get started. Save this as Spectral Metaballs. Uh, what should I call it? Random. Okay, so spread off add on and we start with line and the line I know that we're gonna just use vector noise. We will draw, plug this into that guy, into this guy, and let's see the output. We got some points. If I increase the number of points, it's kind of random, but if we reduce the step, it's gonna be kind of like uh, the snake worm thing. Here first. So this guy, if we actually use, we plug this into Metaball, it's already, you can already see the result. Um, yeah, just plug this into the origin. And we should have, there you go, we just need um, some kind of points. And you can adjust the stiffness, etc. There is actually, I think, the hidden options with this meta, meta ball nodes. If you go to the panel and then, ah, see there is a resolution. You can increase or decrease. If you decrease the number, it's gonna be a lot higher. And now it's kind of too much, and now it's too slow. Okay, that option is pretty dangerous. I need to be careful. Okay, let's keep it like that. Not too small. You can increase the resolution later. So the idea is like you're gonna kind of increase the number of points. You can get warms just by doing this. Um, and with vector, you can always use vector math and doing a scalar multiplier to scale it scale this um, scale here and scale there so now it's a little bit more interesting this is already kind of interesting looking um yeah look look even the the meta balls kind of like uh have kind of like a radius that goes smaller and bigger i think that's kind of cool so that's kind of funky. Uh, if you like this this guy right here, you can duplicate it and then just uh, convert to mesh. So that's uh, that's become something. Hey, we get this result. Anyhow, we can continue with this guy. So that's nice, uh, but maybe we we can make this better. Uh, let's do. Let's use our icosphere. So get our icosphere back. This guy put it into layer one and just increase it and then get rid of the matte cap for now. This one gonna be wire. And with this guy, can we project it? Uh, I'm not gonna project it right now. I will actually just cut it here and then use B mesh. So this guy is gonna be like a real object, but I'm gonna show you what happens. So currently it's just points, 
the points will work with metaballs but if you want to project it you need to have uh, some kind of vertices and edges so we have this line and you can randomize the vector noise but this guy you can also project it into the icosphere so modifier um, shrink wrap and then select our icosphere there you go you get this kind of funky looking um, line there and with the, this line you can just plug this back in as metaball here's an object you, 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 you cannot just plug in the object you want uh, to get to the component so object ID out get our objects post modifier on because we are using string wrap and plug in the vertices with metaballs increase the radius and there you go um, I think if we are doing some kind of resampling you're gonna get a better result vector interpolation so this is I didn't plan this but we can try doing it range float over here between 0 and 1 increase the value well count so now start to appear start to get this kind of interesting result so it is pretty organic it's not a yeah I think a lot of organic objects can be created just by using metaball metaball is like um, you can think of it like skin skin modifier but a little bit more organic and you can really come out with a lot of really really cool uh, organic looking objects there and then you can randomize this further um, just play around with this noise value okay that's for noise I don't know just try randomize the, the seed if you like the result I think just con shift D and then convert convert to mesh and yeah that's inner so that's metaball so what is this that's something else that's interesting it's generating so many things that's weird but yeah that's anyway that's the result of this guy being projected into icosphere but you can experiment with uh, other objects so I guess that's pretty much it for this live learning hopefully you enjoy this uh, just another idea you can use and I'll see you next